What's going on, G.I. Joe and comic fans? Sentex Collector here with a summary and review of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number 301 by Skybound Image Comics. In summary, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number 301 marks the beginning of a new era for the iconic series under Skybound Entertainment and Image Comics. This issue is a significant milestone as it continues to be one of the longest running titles in comics history. The series is rejuvenated by the legendary writer Larry Hama, who has been with the run since number one, renowned for his work on Marvel's Wolverine, and is joined by artist Chris Mooneyham, known for his work on Nightwing and Sergeant Rock in The Unknown Soldier. The issue introduces a fresh start for the G.I. Joe series, making it an ideal jumping on point for new readers while keeping the essence that longtime fans cherish. This issue features favorite characters like Duke, Scarlet, Storm Shadow, Cobra Commander, and notably marks the return of the original Snake Eyes. The collaboration between Skybound, Image Comics, and Hasbro in this relaunch has been highly anticipated, and the initial issues, including number 301, have seen significant popularity leading to subsequent printings. This new phase of G.I. Joe is part of the broader Energon Universe project, which includes other titles like Transformers, Duke, and Cobra Commander, all overseen by Robert Kirkman. From my review, the issue starts out introducing G.I. Joe and Cobra narrative to ease in a new reader, then immediately continues the story from issue number 300. The narrative in this issue is masterfully crafted by Hama a legend in the G.I. Joe universe. His storytelling is both familiar to fans of the series and welcoming to newcomers. The return of the original Snake Eyes is a masterstroke, bringing back one of the most beloved characters in a way that feels both nostalgic and fresh. This issue skillfully sets the stage for new adventures and conflicts, with classic characters like Duke, Scarlet, Roadblock, and Cobra Commander, each receiving moments to shine. The issue is packed with G.I. Joe, characters with Storm Shadow being back with the Joes. Cobra is divided as Serpentor is now Serpentor Khan after being revived by Dr. Minbender yet again. It'll be interesting to see how Cobra Commander fares in this run. The issue ends with the death of a longtime acquaintance of Snake Eyes. In Snake Eyes' absence, Kamakura, now known as Throwdown, took up the Snake Eyes mantle. Chris Mooneyham's art is another standout aspect of this issue. His style brings a contemporary feel to the series while respecting its rich history. The action sequences are particularly notable, rendered with a dynamic flair that enhances the excitement and tension of the narrative. The visual storytelling complements Hamo's writing making for a cohesive and engaging reading experience. The artwork seemed very mature, like Frank Miller, but not as dark. I noticed the drawing was very pencil stylized, with a vastly different feel from issue 300. In conclusion, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, 301 is a triumphant return for the series and a testament to the enduring legacy of the G.I. Joe franchise. It is a well-rounded issue that successfully revives the excitement and adventure that fans have always loved about G.I. Joe, while also paving the way for new stories and developments. This issue is a must-read for both longtime fans and those looking to dive into the world of G.I. Joe for the first time. I'm looking forward to how Skybound will push the lore and arc.